intellectual tendencies. He is the fourth level of evolution in the ladder of evolution in the human lineage. The nature of evolution is such that the lower layers are not discarded. The evolution is always inclusive. Only that the higher layers they dominate in a more evolved creature and the lower layers are subordinate. They may express themselves sometimes but uh, the overall tendencies are defined by one layer or two or three layers that's all i wish to make it clear that if you find a few tendencies from the higher layers that are expressed it does not mean that you are evolved to that layer to that level do not delude yourself by thinking that just like when a few tendencies from the lower layers they express it does not mean that you are devolved it simply means that it happened it was necessary that was a strong tendency there which expressed so it will never happen that a person is purely governed by one and the highest layer it will average out somewhere so we are all like this nobody has that kind of purity to be governed by only one kind of layer or nobody stays at one level of evolution permanently it, it keeps fluctuating there is no problem in that it is natural and everybody is imperfect in this way this is the bitter truth nobody is perfect and there is no shame in saying that because it is perfectly natural which tree is perfect who will define who is the who is authorized here to tell you who what is perfect from the point of view of the whole everything is perfect so all trees are crooked somewhat random but they are perfect as they are they are beautiful the purpose of a tree is not to produce perfectly straight branches their purpose is to produce a fruit and the purpose of the human evolution is not to produce perfectly operating layer the purpose is to evolve beyond that layer do not get attached to a layer if you think you are evolved enough and there is always a lot of room for more evolution so many of us cannot swallow this bitter pill but there you have it without any sugar coating so we are in the domain of the so called higher layers now and that was a perfectly fit introduction because people tend to over evaluate themselves so let us start with the evaluation of the intellectual tendencies the behavior of such a person is mostly introverted the person prefers solitude is happy with himself is actually a social does not like crowd is very selective about people such people are extremely knowledgeable sometimes it appears from their looks heavy glasses a beard not showing off anything not covered in gold or diamonds their behavior is well balanced such people are usually expert in one or two fields they know everything in their field such people are artists and they are good at creative arts fine arts and whatever they have learned they are mostly found involved in that art the art obviously includes science and technology and writing and uh, lecturing professing painting music and technology design all kinds of creative arts they have not much interest in money and they are totally uninterested in society such people are always learning their skills are always growing they are very studious they are found among books and obviously these people are very creative these people they create things they invent things and the other people they take advantage of these things in a good way these people they cause innovation in human society nobody else can do that it does not matter how rich or powerful that person is or how emotionally capable that person is he will never be able to do any kind of innovation they are extremely creative even if they are not adding to the society their mere presence is good enough to cause changes they are mostly misunderstood because they are way up there and so the mediocre 90% of the population is incapable of understanding what they think or what they do either they get a lot of respect or they are insulted 
they will approach you only when there is a chance to learn it can be anything arts or technology or anything new you have written a new book and now they are interested in talking to you sometimes they are interested in, in teaching either they are learning from somebody or they are teaching somebody otherwise there is not much interest in being social if you examine their speech they talk very less they talk only when absolutely necessary only when it is needed and only a few words they talk very softly their talk is mostly like thinking rather than talking sometimes it feels like as if they are talking to themselves such people will usually close their eyes when they are talking which means that is totally internalized sometimes they forget whom they are talking to <laughs> anyway they are very good orators they know what to talk and how to talk and they say it exactly and they don't talk to everybody they will open up only with somebody who is similar to them in intellectual capability and it does not matter from which topic you start however lowly or however advanced they will always come back to intellectual subjects you cannot talk to them about food or women or the political leaders or the rich people or any kind of garbage like that all that they will talk and they will insert their own dimension in that or they will laugh it off and they'll they come back to their area of expertise if you talk to them about something which is not their area of expertise they will listen carefully and then they will slowly gravitate to what they know and when they start talking about their area it is very entertaining it is very educating talk if you look at the thought of an intellectual personality the thoughts are very logical rational well organized and beautiful they have a beautiful mind they are very good in abstract thinking ordinary people if they think they think about everyday objects or other people and similar things their desires and wants or how they are feeling what is their current emotion their thinking is limited to that intellectual person will think about abstract concepts for example mathematics or aesthetics and so on they are highly imaginative and their attention spans are very big they can attend to one subject one topic for many hours some of the geniuses they can do it for many days many months they continue hitting at that one thing till they solve it and that is the secret of their success in the intellectual field they have super attention it can be natural it can be acquired it can be learned we all have this potential to get that kind of attention once you have the attention you can master anything in this universe this is also true for the spiritual category most of the people are shallow and unsuccessful because of their shallow and short attention there is no way in our society to cultivate this very very important ability these people are engaged in meditation and thinking actually they call their thinking as meditation that is one of the synonym of thinking they never stop thinking actually they are expert in planning and organizing because of their attention and intelligence they can foresee things further than ordinary people and that is why they occupy the higher posts they they will be in the areas like advisors planning committee or innovation fields project managers and so on they are great organizers although not great commanders they do not command they simply assume that if i say something logical and rational people will follow me but that rarely happens in the practical world people follow their instincts people follow the herd mentality so these intellectual kinds they are kind of rare they are one man army most of the time but when they head an organization it causes wonders there are many examples of intelligent people heading the organization and you can see they get overnight success they are highly creative and imaginative as we discussed already always imagining something always creating something in their minds they do it non stop if you take a look at their relations they are not interested in any relations they prefer freedom not bondage they cannot be bound in any relation and they are away from the crowd so their chances of getting into a relation are next to nothing they are found lonely and isolated 
they break their relations with their so called blood relatives also they have no interest or whatever interest there is is purely of practical nature their relations are mostly emotionless there is no juice there is no impulse and there is no stickiness in their relations friendship is the best relation they find nothing else agrees with them they do not want to become masters and they hate being a slave whenever they form any relation for a short duration they prefer intellectual people if they marry they prefer small families one or two child or mostly they are found as single parents they have no problems with that they need nobody they are highly independent and when people approach to them with an intention of forming a relation they maintain a distance they maintain a space around them they do not open to everyone it is very difficult to find their depth and they are good at hiding what they are because the intellect covers up everything so even if you want you cannot fo- form a relation because it will be a shallow relation the seat of the relation is in heart if you look at their entertainment it is mostly study their study is their entertainment their books are their entertainment some of them they like to explore experiment try out things that is their entertainment and they are found engaged in meetings conferences brainstorming sessions and discussing intellectual matters that is their entertainment their news is also about science and technology or who is the new author about this subject and so on they prefer the company of wise people that is their entertainment if they find somebody who is wise and they understand them then they understand each other that is their best day they love arts of all kind and the arts is their entertainment very fine art very tasteful art nothing cheap and sometimes they like fiction which will be positive non violent very creative and sometimes even like things like cartoon movies because that is an art form in itself and so on they not only consume the fiction they can create the fiction so they are on both sides actually it sounds like we have a perfect layer here which is tremendously evolved but as i said this is not the case this is not the final thing although such people are incapable of understanding that they are not at the top that is their limitation intellect is very very limited it is just like any other layer it is a bunch of memory with tendencies with activity but such people they do not understand this thing they will understand it intellectually but they do not accept it they will accept it as a theory but they never see it it is a blockage in itself the intellect and it can become afflicted also just like any other layer below it so such people sometimes because of the huge intellect they ignore the lower layers they ignore the lower functions they ignore the body also and the body falls sick they do not eat healthy food they do not exercise properly they do not maintain the hygiene they do not cut their hair and so <laughs> the body suffers although it happens very rarely and that is why i'm putting it under the category of afflictions they have no relatives no friends that gives them an eccentric personality they cannot relate to anybody and it is an affliction of some kind because a person of high intelligence it should be peanuts for that person to manage society if they cannot it is an error in the intellectual layer and because they are away because they are in solitude because they have no social skills they suffer from loneliness and depression the intellect is never lonely the intellect is never depressed it is the lower layers that cause this kind of affliction but it shows up in intellectual people so i am mentioning it here then it is a kind of affliction it can be easily cured because of their high level of knowledge they become narrow minded the knowledge limits them their expertise limits them they do not know anything outside their field and they do not want to know anything and if somebody comments some thing about their field and they do not agree they do not feel comfortable there they are dogmatic about it they are hard headed about what they believe and what they know so this is the complication in the experts 
that if you become become an expert your uh, expertise will cause a limitation it will be it will become an affliction you won't be able to learn anything new and with age you won't be able to progress beyond a certain limit because of this dogmatism and this is found in this intellectual culture everywhere it is very difficult to teach them anything new although they are very intelligent the affliction is that they will refuse to be taught because there is a belief that i know everything and even if they admit that no i need to learn more thing they find a total lack of interest in them the curiosity gets killed by too much knowledge they are ignorant about anything outside their expertise and it becomes an affliction because they act like fools when they are not talking about their field and the affliction is that they refuse to learn the other subject normally an intellectual person will be very happy to learn anything new but an afflicted intellect erects walls around itself the walls of belief that i know everything such people make very very bold claims about the fields in which they are not expert there are many examples because of their high intelligence and expertise they develop a hubris or a false pride that i am superior they get this superiority complex this is a mental disease superiority complex is a mental disease does not matter on which layer it happens so is inferiority complex because sometimes it happens on the intellectual layer that oh i am not as intelligent as the other person that is also an affliction there is a big affliction here which uh, is as follows that uh, sometimes the ego or the lower layers the survival tendencies are so strong that the intellect becomes a slave of the ego the intellect will be used to further the agenda of survival instead of its usual tendencies of creativity and so on so such people get employed in the fields where survival is the main activity such as inventing weapons inventing bombs planning strategies to kill others attack other countries and so on here the intellect has grown to a level where it can do all these things but the wisdom is not there to understand that these things should not be done it is a kind of affliction that the intellect has matured but has gotten distorted now it is serving the lower layers the lower tendencies are have hijacked the intellect and you will find such people everywhere it is a mental affliction why would any intelligent person develop a weapon or organize a warfare why would any intelligent person engage in fraud and hacking and things like that but many do that and that is because and the intellect is in, in a, is in a process of maturing it is not matured enough but apparently they don't know this thing they think i am the superior kind this is the problem with intellectual people you see ordinary people when they see such people they are repelled by intellectual people they form a general opinion about such people that they are harmful for the society so that is a debate in itself a person is found to abuse an inventor who invented plastic while using plastic in their everyday life the inventor is not the problem the user of the plastic is the problem and ordinary people they do not understand this they simply push the blame to the one who invented it such people are found to be the center of conspiracy theories also sometimes the intellect is uh, gets afflicted so much that they start serving people of lower nature sometimes for money sometimes for fame sometimes for fun because there is a madness in that so a bank robber is highly intelligent but he is serving something which is lower he has the skills he has the expertise in the field he knows everything about the bank and the information system there and the security system he can rob a bank without getting caught but that is an affliction in the layer of intellect it is not the normal functioning so what are the suggested paths here for the, this kind of uh, level of evolution how to go forward and everybody must have guessed it by now the path of knowledge is ideal for intellectual people they grasp it quickly they progress here very very fast 
In addition to the path of knowledge, they can take up occult. Because occult is nothing but a greater field of technology. Not only material technology, it is mental technology also. So it attracts intellectual people a lot. And if that is not possible, take up the physical sciences. Because the study of the physical world will ultimately lead to spiritual realization. Everybody knows that, at least in the intellectual field. There is a progression that happens there that takes you out of hard-headedness about your world views and your thoughts and your concepts to open-mindedness, freedom about what this existence actually is. On the path of knowledge, we enter as an intellectual, we seek and then we reach the spiritual level. This is usually the progression. Such people cannot take any other path the path of devotion is repulsive. They do not want to worship anybody. They do not want to surrender to anybody. They know too much already. They are lazy because the intellect is functioning a lot. They get everything done without any efforts. So no yoga, no path of action for them. They are not interested too much in bending their bodies and swinging their energies out of control. No, they don't like it. And their health and the mental blockages, they do not allow the energies to cross those blockages. So only the path of knowledge is effective, which is actually a top-down approach. Nobody can avoid these holistic effects of knowledge. But on the path of knowledge, we bypass the obstacles and we attack the very center of ignorance, which is intellect. Here, the ignorance is getting created. So we are going to continue our journey upwards on this ladder of human evolution and self-evaluation. Mm -hmm.